Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, not bad outside right now as we sneak in a few rays of late day sun across the area. Looks like it's going to be quiet for the next couple of hours until much later tonight for us here in the greater Cincinnati metro area. So not a bad evening coming up. Let me show you Power of 5 Live Radar. We dodged one strong line of thunderstorms which passed across much of Kentucky earlier this afternoon. That prompted the severe thunderstorm watch, which, oh, by the way, the severe thunderstorm threat is now passed for us here in the metro area, basically the entire viewing area. The severe threat has passed now, at least for the next couple of hours. I don't expect any additional severe weather whatsoever. Now, I am keeping my eye on additional thunderstorm activity tonight, developing back over near Indianapolis through southern Illinois, back towards the St. Louis area, because this is the next round of storms that will arrive overnight tonight and could make it a little noisy, I'm thinking, after dinner time. I'm thinking after 9 or 10 o'clock and into the overnight hours. Check out Power of 5 Live Radar closer in and notice nothing really Really stands out. No yellows, no reds out there. Still a few rumbles of thunder south and east of Cincinnati, but the only thunderstorm I'm watching right now is right over Manchester, moving through West Union, moving through parts of Adams County. This storm has weakened significantly from what it was earlier this afternoon, several hours ago when it was back across northern Kentucky. No severe threat posed from that storm. And around here in the metro, you can see radar is all quiet, so we're looking good through dinner time. Here's that severe thunderstorm watch for those counties in northern Kentucky. Again, the severe threat is passed. So it's just a matter of time now before that watch is allowed to expire or discontinued. It's a very low end severe threat that we saw earlier today and even overnight tonight and into Friday. It is still a meager low end severe threat. I'm more concerned about the potential for heavy rain than anything else. 64 right now at the airport. Winds are balmy out of the south at 15 with temperatures in the 60s this evening and some clouds around. Temperatures won't fall much, so it actually looks like a nice evening now that we've gotten the rain and some of those storms out of there. I can't rule out a stray shower or storm creeping up, so keep the umbrella handy till better rain chances arrive later tonight. Temperatures will hold steady in the 60s. So moist flow out of the Gulf of Mexico. Look at this. This actual storm center is still back over around Oklahoma City. That's why we've got rain to go through tonight and rain to go through tomorrow. And this storm center promises some soaking rains tomorrow afternoon. So here's a look at Futurecast. You can see 10, 11 o'clock tonight, that next band of showers and storms comes through. And it will be off and on as we go through the night tonight. So again, it will be a little noisy at times. Expect a wet morning tomorrow and then expect additional rounds of of showers and storms as we go throughout the day on Friday. It looks like it will be 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow evening before we finally clear the rain out of here and get sunshine back into the area for Saturday. 58 for a low tonight as temperatures will hold steady around 60 most of the night with off again, on again rain and storms. Again, very small threat for maybe some stronger thunderstorms. 61, that's early tomorrow, will fall during the afternoon as it turns cooler with a threat for some heavy rain. Here's a quick preview of your opening day forecast. And right now, Mike and George, not looking too bad. Check this out. Small shower threat. While skies will be mostly cloudy, it looks mild for us around here. Here's your seven day forecast. We're down to 34 tomorrow night, only 54 on Saturday. Beautiful looking Easter Sunday in the mid 60s. And again, most of opening day looks dry for us outside of maybe a stray shower or two. All right, Kev, thank you. 38 and 0 